my hoe. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So before we get into the tutorial, I want to share something that I've been learning throughout the week. Um, in Luke 15, 26, the Bible says that can all our worries add to a single moment to our life? This week I have found myself worrying about my situation and things that I couldn't change about it. And as I reflected deeper on the situation, I found myself in a pit of sadness. But this scripture tells us that worrying doesn't change our circumstance, let alone it doesn't add to the circumstance at all either. So if you find yourself worrying about things that you feel like you have no control over, rest that there is a God who's greater, who is in control. And in putting your trust in him and praying and seeking him and reflecting on the good things that he's doing, he will give you that peace to know and give you the answers to seek in how you deal with your situation in your times of worry. I hope that you guys are blessed and I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Bye. New year, <laughs> new me, who's this? For you guys, when you guys see this video, you guys will see that you guys, as you guys see, I cut my hair. Ooh, 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 ooh. So um, I'm ready for to do something different today. I am going to be just doing a regular um, eyeliner glitter look, I guess. That's what it is for the new year. Um, I actually saw some girl at the NYX store in Toronto at York de Ball who did this look and I fell completely in love with it. So I decided that I would copy her. So I don't know you girl, but um, you inspired me. So I'm going to inspire others. Um, so it's definitely nothing different. I just really liked it. And I felt like for New Year's, it'd be a cool glitter look to replicate. I'm going to prime my face with the baby skin instant pore eraser what i do is i just kind of pat it into the face um so that my pores over here don't show as much <laughs> i'm going to be using my becca um complexion cream foundation my one of my favorite foundation I actually the review on this foundation on my channel so if you have a chance check it out but I'm gonna be using this foundation and I'm gonna be also using my damn beauty blender blah, 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 blender to apply the foundation to my face <laughs> Also feel like I needed to kind of get rid of certain things in my life and I feel like cutting my hair gave me the power and gave me the power gave me the motivation to get rid of those things and stuff so with that being said your girl's part of the cut life I feel like I'm still like really struggling with my eyebrows like I don't even know the style like this is my natural eyebrows this is after I've plucked them so I do have like naturally like thick eyebrows, really, really thick eyebrows, but I don't know. I feel like I still don't know, really know the, the shape and the style that I'm trying to go for. stick and truly topaz and I'm highlighting under my eyes um a little bit just highlight right here and I got out here just a little bit and uh, I'm not really having a good day and I'm gonna be a little bit transparent with you guys today today is the first day <laughs> out of three weeks that i've actually spent time in prayer praying to god i've been really going through such a weird phase and i don't know what it was and what it is but it's weird because i was like i i cut my hair and then i'm like oh change and then it's like 
before that i wasn't really spending time with god i kind of was like being extremely lazy and um i know it's not right as a christian i think that we need to actively spend time on god but i finally got up the courage to ignore how i feel and my stresses of life and really tell god how i feel and what is happening and because god is faithful and he's such an unloving god and he's so faithful when it comes to us um so yeah i finally got the chance to really speak to god today which was really good it made me feel good about just spending time with him and just praying and seeking him about things in my life i feel like a little bit more stress-free i'm using the ruby chris's um powder in rmp 16 i guess that's what it's called i feel like there's another name for it but yeah so i'm going to be using this powder to contour <laughs> around here and then I do it for the other side and this kind of gives it more definition so right now I am going over my cheeks with raisin by Mac just putting it as a blush I realized that I put a little too much so I had to really buff it out <laughs> I'm just gonna highlight um, the high points of my cheeks and also a little bit of the side of my forehead Now I'm going in with the NYX um, eyeliner and I'm going to make a wing uh, I struggle with this. I'm still learning how to do a good wing So I'm going to do that and then I'm just going to add the basically the main look which is the gold eyeliner on top or right above the black eyeliner that I made and that's basically it the reason why I was open about sharing my struggle these past three weeks is sometimes people have a perception that Christians are perfect I'm not perfect I have my ups and downs I have my moments where I let my worries and my anxiety get the best of me but the Bible talks about those being far from God will perish and I refuse to perish I want to strive to know God more deeper and intimately each day and although sometimes it's not always ideal I know that at the end of the day as I continue to push through my worries push through my doubts God is always there so be blessed guys I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys in my next video peace love and joy bye